hottest stories that shook the world more than half a century ago involved Alaska. And of all things, it involved Mount McKinley. The story that divided the world into two hostile camps was, did Dr. Frederick A. Cook, the noted Arctic authority and president of the Explorers Club, actually climb Mount McKinley, or was he a faker? In June of 1903, Dr. Cook and party arrived at Tyonic to climb Mount McKinley. After nine weeks of frustration, the party gave up and returned to the States. In 1906, Dr. Cook again landed at Tyonic. After two months of searching, no route to climb the mountain from the south could be found. The party returned to Tyonic. The three agreed to meet in Seldovia in four weeks. When they met in Seldovia, Dr. Cook announced that he had been to the top of Mount McKinley. Cook said he and Ed Burrill, his horse packer, had found a new route. They'd made a dash from the foot to the summit in eight days and returned in four. Cook's associates were speechless. One wrote, I knew that Dr. Cook had not climbed Mount McKinley in the same way that a New Yorker would know that no man could walk from Brooklyn Bridge to Grant's tomb in 10 minutes. On returning to the States, Cook lectured to enthusiastic audiences everywhere. Harper's Magazine published Cook's thrilling story with photos. One of horse packer Burrill on the summit waving the American flag. Here, for the first time, the doubters had photographic evidence to work on. The rumbles of disbelief grew louder. Dr. Cook must have sensed trouble ahead, for he vanished completely from the earth. However, late in 1907, the Explorers Club received a letter from Dr. Cook, high in the Arctic. Cook stated that he would return to the Explorers Club in September 1908 with the discovery of the North Pole under his belt. This letter made tremendous news. Next, Dr. Cook's convincing book on the Mount McKinley climb hit the market. Cook's friends were jubilant, his doubters thankful for photos and alleged maps in the book. Now came electric news out of the Arctic. Cook had discovered the North Pole, and landing first in Copenhagen, Europe acclaimed Cook a world hero. On arrival in New York, his admirers staged the most gigantic welcome ever seen. In due time, the Explorers Club requested Cook's appearance to present evidence that he had been to the pole. When Dr. Cook appeared before the club, he declined to testify, stating that the long Arctic night had affected his memory. Now, Dr. Cook disappeared a second time. But in a few months, his book, My Attainment of the Pole, came on the market. However, in light of undeniable evidence that his photos of the top of Mount McKinley were taken 20 miles southeast of the mountain, and that on his alleged trip to the pole, he had never left the sight of land, Dr. Cook's day slowly faded away. The fantastic story of Dr. Cook is but one of the many in Dr. Terrace Moore's new book, Mount McKinley, the Pioneer Climbs, published by the University of Alaska Press. I salute Dr. Terrace Moore, who was president of the University of Alaska from 1949 to 1953 for his outstanding contribution to the heritage of Alaska.